Hello everyone, this is a September 2019 Odd Eyes Magician deck profile. So this deck is admittedly not as good as the standard Pendulum Magician deck, uh, but it's also a lot cheaper. So I think it's a creative build, it's a unique build that I've been messing around with myself. It takes advantage of normal monsters and there are a lot of ways to get Electromite on the field without the Pendulum Summon, including this Rescue Rabbit. So I was going to include Perform Repel into this lineup here. These were the cards that I was thinking about but I decided it was superior without it. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this unique take on pendulums. So we start off with Triple Rescue Rabbit. So this card is a very strong normal summon. You wanna see it in your opening hand because it turns itself into two cards. You special two level four lower normal monsters uh, with the same name from your deck. So very easy Electromite play here. It's the reason why I run a lot of these duplicate normal monsters. And a lot of times you wouldn't run something like a Dragon Pulse over something like a Purple Poison, but this is an example of a time where you do wanna include some of those weaker normal monsters. So for some Odd Eyes monsters, we have Triple uh, Arc Pendulum Dragon as well as uh, Double Pendulum Dragon. So Arc Pendulum Dragon is really the go-to because not only is it searchable off of Duelist Alliance like this card is too, but this card is also searchable off of Summoner's Art and it's also a scale eight. So they're both level sevens for your rank sevens. And uh, this one has a scale effect of specialing from the deck. Uh, this one has a better scale effect, but uh, generally if you're scaling this card, you're, ha you're having to wait till the end phase anyway, so you probably don't have enough resources to make the play that you wanna do. Uh, so with the end phase search, as well as the normal draw off of the, off of the next turn, uh, generally we'll, you will have, or hopefully you'll have the play uh, ready. But Arc Pendulum Dragon is the go-to one because of its scale. Uh, so I did include some staples from the uh, standard Pendulum Edition deck, uh, these three chronographs and the Time Gazer. So uh, this card is a scale 8 uh, and a level 6, uh, and it's got that great special from the hand uh, effect, uh, which is the reason why I did include it over something like a Master Cerberus and Jackal King package. Uh, Master Cerberus can be a brick a lot of the times. I was thinking about Dark Worm as well and Gate Zero. Dark Worm and Gate Zero would be a fine choice, but I thought with these cards it was enough uh, plus the other ways to get Electromite on the field in this deck. I thought it was enough for your uh, starter slash extender plays for Electromite. So Magicians, Triple, Dragon Pit, as well as uh, Three Dragon Pulse. So Dragon Pit is the really go-to scale 8 here, the high scale uh, searchable off of Pendulum Call because its pop effect of back row is super important sometimes. I mean, your opponent can have a set, solemn strike, or warning, or judgment, and if you want to successfully pull off your Pendulum Summon, you need this card to pop back row. This one pops monsters, not quite as good because, not quite as needed because uh, you do have a lot of beaters in this deck, but uh, these are just the uh, low and high scales here. So a few more magicians, uh, Shianka and uh, Black Fang. So this one is good for getting over your opponent's monsters. Uh, this one is a level seven for your rank sevens, as well as uh, a way, the only way to uh, allow you to overlay rank sevens on top of rank sevens uh, to get the beefier effects of the XYZ pendulum monsters. So that play is uh, only possible through this card. Uh, some more normal monsters, three magical Libra. This is a new card that uh, allows you to manipulate levels. Kind of an interestingly convoluted effect. If you control two monsters, increase one of their levels by some number one to six and decrease the other one uh, also from that same one to six. Um, none of the math in the levels of the cards that I have in this deck really add up to have that work out beneficially, but it is a normal monster that you can summon off of Rescue Rabbit, also Unexpected Die, which I also run. Uh, it is a tuner too, and a more generic tuner than something like a Luster Pendulum, which only allows you to go into Draco Slayer extra deck monsters, so I decided to include this one. It's also a, war, uh, a water monster for your Abyss Dweller. Uh, so double Vector Pendulum and double Master Pendulum. So these are the last uh, monsters here. They uh, just special summon from the deck using Draco Face Off and just a really cool archetype, Draco Slayers and Draco Overlords uh, that I'm happy I could include in this deck. Uh, so spells through Pot of Desires. Um, super important to run at three. Like any Pendulum deck, uh, you need as many resources in your hand as possible to both scale as well as uh, actually summon. Uh, three Unexpected Die, so so many monsters in this main deck to work with this card, especially from the deck, and then using your normal summon or maybe Chronograph to go into, or Draco Face Off as well, to go into your Electromite. I think the OCG actually uses this card a lot, so uh, glad I could finally put it to use. 
uh, double pendulum call. So searches any of your scales can be annoying with Electromite because a lot of times you want that extra draw off of, a, off of your Electromite. But if you don't scale your Magician, then uh, you can actually pop that card. But otherwise, good card to just get your indestructible scales. Uh, double Duelist Alliance to search the Odd Eyes monsters, the Pendulum Call, or the uh, Draco Slayer, Drake Overlord monsters. Uh, one Summoner's Art to search Arc Pendulum Dragon or Dragon Fit, which are your high scales. Uh, one Draco Face Off to special from the deck, and then the other one will go into your extra deck face up. You can also put that card that would have been special summoned into the Pendulum Zone, but usually you want that extra material for Electromite. And the last monster in the main deck is this Odd Eyes Fusion. Uh, so this is really the reason why I ran Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon really isn't that strong of a card. But I was running Rune Eyes, so I thought I'd include this one. And this card can actually turn the game around. If you're on the losing end of the duel, it can get you your very easy Vortex Dragon, which is a bounce and an Omni Negate. So extra deck, uh, Flare Metal Dragon. Generic rank 7 here that is super annoying to the opponent and very fun to use. Uh, if you're at all ahead of your opponent in terms of life points, it can make them think twice about what card they, they play in the order of what uh, how they pull off their combos because uh, they have to put the most important card at the top of the priority because the burn damage really does add up with this card. Uh, Big Eye for another generic level 7 or rank 7 uh, for your mind control shenanigans like Borload. Uh, doesn't target, doesn't destroy. Uh, Absolute Dragon for your Vortex package like the standard Pendulum Magician deck. Uh, some XYZ Pendulums, Raging Dragon and Rebellion Dragon. Uh, so one of these is in here, usually Rebellion, just to send to the graveyard with Odd Eyes Fusion uh, as Fusion Material being your Pendulum Monster for, for Vortex. Uh, Raging Dragon is usually the one that I go into if I actually do properly XYZ summon it because if it's destroyed, both of them, if they're destroyed by Battler Card Effect, um, they become scales, but this one is a scale one, so four is actually the worst scale So in this deck. Uh, so one is usually, this one is the one that I'm going into. They both have... Uh, pretty killer effects if you use XYZ materials or XYZ monsters as materials. They can attack multiple times, but that's super hard to pull off. Uh, we have a Constellar Ptolemy M7. Uh, so you could easily run Norito. I decided to stray away from the uh, standard build and include this one to be a little more creative. It can be a decent card, bouncing um, monsters or re recurring uh, monsters from the graveyard uh, in either player's graveyard. If it's your turn, this card can be good. Rank 4 is Dweller and Magister Paladin, so as much as I did want to veer from the path of Pendulum Magicians, I did have to include Dweller, this uh, super stable card that shuts down the graveyard. Uh, Magister Paladin is good in pretty much any Pendulum deck because it gets you that search at the end phase, uh, but it also takes advantage of the Draco Slayer name, special summoning from uh, the extra deck. Uh, fusions, Dynaster Power, so this card is a contact fusion, very easy to go into, especially with Unexpected Die, special summoning that Draco Slayer. Uh, very good card, actually. Unfortunately, only 2,000 attack, uh, so usually putting it in defense mode, but it protects all of your Pendulum monsters uh, in the scale zones as well as in the monster zone. So in instead of something like a Sky Iris, which I showed at the beginning of the video, uh, this protects those cards. You don't. Uh, this actually protects all of your Pendulum cards, not just uh, the cards of those three archetypes. Uh, Rune Eyes. So I love this card, so I included it. Uh, it can attack multiple times on monsters, uh, up to three times if you uh, use it with Dragon Pit. So uh, just a really cool card to go into that uh, isn't quite as good because it only attacks on monsters. And then Vortex, so you got to include this one. This is the Omni Negate, and uh, it's the free bounce too. So just super powerful card that uh, pretty much any Pendulum deck, especially decks that run rank 7 because of Absolute, can utilize. Synchros, uh, Ignister Prominence, so non-targeting, non-destruction, just really easy way to clear your opponent's board and uh, destroying your own uh, Pendulum Monster is uh, pretty much a free cost because uh, it's going straight to the extra deck to be special summoned back later. And this one also special summons from the deck, so just another card here that takes advantage of the Draco Slayer name. We also have a Scrap Dragon, so I do have a uh, Borload Savage Dragon, but I decided to include this one to keep it more budget. This pops on either side of the field. And then the only links I'm running are Electromite and Lamp Linkus. Could have included Zephra or uh, Deco Talker. Uh, if you're working with this build, you could easily do that, but uh, just optional right there. Just standard, not too much to work with in terms of link monsters for choices in a pendulum based deck. But that was uh, September 2019, Odd Eyes Magician. I hope you enjoyed this uh, alternate view of the pendulum 
uh, mechanic. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.